Today is about practicing wet in wet and using a subject in a photo and converting it to a painting. So the first thing I did was sketch out my own design and then begin the underpainting. With turquoise, it's Thalo Turquoise by Daniel Smith. I'm just thoroughly saturating my paper for now. At the end of the video, I'll go into depth about the colors that I'll be using. Just using the drumstick method there to get down some soft color. Tip off the excess moisture. Redo my splatter. I'm hoping this will give a lovely texture to it. Okay. Get another tip. See if there's any excess moisture again. Little bit of movement. Quite lovely that tiny bit of movement. I like that. That looks so cool. It looks like running water being rushed over it. This is Holbein's masking fluid. It's going to mask the little tiny pebbles because they'll be really painful to paint around afterwards. So if I just, I'm going to let that air dry. That'll do. All of my uh, masking fluid is now dry. So each rock is going to get slightly different treatment. You want it to be beautiful and wet so that as you drop in the other colour, it's still in that wet state. And if you speed up the process by doing a whole stack at once, you just don't get the same effect and you can lose control and then you don't have the wet surface. And if you love this method, you need to pretty much do one at a time. I'm ready now to paint in here. It's all lovely and wet and I want that to be darker and greyer. So I'm going to mix up some more of this mix. It's the turquoise and magenta, lunar earth. Water down first and I'm going to come in and close to the pebbles. Mix up a little batch of pure magenta. I'm just darkening over there because I don't want there to be highlights over there. And 
Now I need to wait for that layer to dry. So the painting's all dry and I'm ready to remove all the masking fluid. And this little rubber is specially designed for removing masking fluid. It's really worth the four or five dollars that you pay for the eraser. It really is. Just makes removing it so fast. Just running my hand over to double check. So I'm just going to start to add in little bits of detail on the rocks because at the moment they've all got little hard edges from the masking fluid and there's enough pigment between the rocks around all my masked areas for the colour to come straight in. I think into this little area I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle. These are Ganzai Tambi Pearl colours and they're so easy to use. I'm going to get a flat brush just to activate the pigment. There's a pink version here. They're just metallic colours. So I'm just going to get a little bit of pigment going. And what I want is to add a bit of interest. I wonder if it will to this focal point. Just swapping out with another dry one. That's what I wanted. Just in this area here. Splattering really finely. It's quite lovely. It's called Pearl Cobalt Wool Blue. Right, a little bit there. Definitely looking celestial as a result of this, but I don't mind at all. It's just lovely. Just adding a little bit of sparkle. Okay, getting rid of those brushes. Love this little set. I also have a set that I bought at Kmart that's also rather excellent too. I know a hell of a lot cheaper. Okay, what is needed now on the painting? I don't think much more is needed. I think um, some of these edges could be improved. So I've left little edges all the way around. So I think what I'll do now is um, uh, darken some of the edges of the pebbles. And I'm going to do that with a flat brush. And I might do it with a little bit of this green and purple. And what I'd like to do is just increase the tone on the edge of some of them. Paint on, damp brush to soften. Back to the paint, paint on. And damp brush to soften. A little bit more. This one here. Yeah, I think it looks better with a darker edge. And this little pebble can get some definition. Darken that edge, darken that edge. And that's a bit better. I think that's just provided a touch more depth. Okay, I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign it in this beautiful purple. And that will encourage me to finish off, stop fiddling, marry on Chapman. Final reveal. We take off the tape. Always enjoy this part. Okay, that's definitely reasonably successful, I think so. 
you can see how you could fiddle more and more and more, but sometimes a painting has reached the point at which it actually isn't going to get better than that, and I'm, I'm kind of satisfied. I've got three colors uh, already on my palette. Thalo Turquoise by Daniel Smith, Lunar Earth by Daniel Smith, and Quinacridone Magenta. Thanks so much for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up if you got anything out of the video. This is the photograph from which I worked, and this is the final painting. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye.